this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release crochet tutorials and free patterns. And today I'm bringing to you this beautiful um, coquette style um, bag. It's so pretty. It's so cute. I love it so much. And as always, the free pattern will be available on my blog, selinaveronique.com. The link will be in the description box. And so for this project, I used um, two skeins of this yarn, which is um, Drops Muscat Mercerized Cotton. So this is 100% cotton and it's considered a light 3 DK weight yarn. I will be linking all the materials and the exact shade that I used in the description box. And this is a 100 gram ball and I used two. I also used a four millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and I used um, three little um, flowers like so. I will be linking these in the description box. I just bought them from Amazon. You will also be needing um, some darning thread and a darning needle. You will also be needing some rope. Um, I purchased this from Amazon. I will be linking it. However, if you don't want to use some rope in the free pattern, I will be writing down a little pattern on how to crochet your own um, strap if that's what you prefer. So this is a really easy project. I hope you enjoy it and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. That really helps out my channel. I will be speaking in US terms with British terms in brackets. So to begin this tutorial you will be making a slip knot. So just go ahead and make your slip knot and pop your hook through and tighten and now you will be chaining 35 so chain 35 so one two three you are going to be placing a half double crochet into the third chain from the hook so count one two three and and place a half double crochet into that. So to create your half double crochet, wrap your yarn around your hook and pop it through that third chain. Pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Take your yarn and pull through all three loops. And this creates a half double crochet. And your first chain two at the beginning counts as your first half double crochet and now you are going to be going into the next chain and placing a half double crochet into that and into the next chain and place a half double crochet into that and take and place a half double crochet into the next chain and place a half double crochet into each chain across and I'll get back to you to show you row two. Okay, so I've um, done my, um, my whole row as you can see and I'm really pleased with how this looks and now for row two, so this is how we finished and so now you are going to be chaining two, one and two. Turn your work. And this um, first chain two counts as your first half double crochet and goes with this first stitch here. So you are going to be going directly into the second stitch with a half double crochet. And go into the next stitch with a half double crochet and into the next stitch and just place a half double crochet into each um, and every stitch across until you reach the end of this row and I'll show you how to finish. 
Okay, so I've almost finished um, this row and so I'm going to place my um, next half double crochet into this stitch and then I still have one stitch and um, to place in the chain two from the previous row so don't forget that stitch because it does count as a stitch so place your last half double crochet into the chain two from the previous row and this is what it looks like. And now for row three, you are going to chain two, one and two, turn your work, and you are simply going to be repeating this pattern over and over again. So just go ahead and place um, a row of half double crochet. So just place a row of half double crochets and just um, repeat row two over and over okay so you should have 35 rows in total like myself so now what I've done is I've already snipped off my yarn but I will show you how to fasten off so this is my last stitched um, where I finished and placed my last stitch let me just zoom in and I'm just going to be um, pulling my yarn through this so just go ahead and pull your yarn through and as you can see I've left quite a long tail for sewing I probably won't need um, such a long tail for sewing in but this is what we have so now I'm going to show you how to crochet the flap. So take your yarn and make a slip knot. So just go ahead and make a slip knot. Pop your hook through and tighten. And now what we are going to be doing is chaining four. So one, two, three and four. And we will be slip stitching through the first chain that we just made to create a ring into which we will be um, working. So just go ahead and slip stitch like so. And now we have a ring into which we will be um, crocheting. Now you are going to be chaining three, one, two and three. And this counts as your first double crochet. And now we are going to be placing six more double crochets within this circle. So to create your double crochet, wrap your yarn around your hook, go into um, the center, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Now take your yarn and go through two loops. And take your yarn and go through two loops and this creates a double crochet and the first chain three here counts as a double crochet and we are sewing in the loose end as we go inside this part. Now place another five double crochets inside the center. So two, three, and five and so this is what we have seven double crochets so one two three four five six seven so seven double crochets <clears throat> so this is row one and now for row two we are going to be um chaining three one two and three turn your work and this counts as your first double crochet and we are going to be placing another double crochet inside that first stitch so that would create two double crochets so just go into that first stitch with a double crochet and that creates two double crochets together because this first chain three counts as a double crochet 
Now go into the next um, stitch and place two double crochets into that. One and two. And now go into the next stitch with two double crochets and just place two double crochets in each um, stitch across until you reach the end of this row, including the chain three from the previous row and I'll get back to you to show you the rest of the pattern. Okay, and in the last chain three we are going to be placing two double crochets together into that chain three from the previous row and so this is um, row two okay so for row three we are going to be chaining three one two and three turn your work in this counts as your first double crochet and you will be placing another double crochet inside that first stitch once again. So just go ahead and place another double crochet into that. And now into the next stitch just place one double crochet. And now in the next stitch place two double crochets. And into the next stitch place one double crochet and just alternate one double crochet and well two double crochets one double crochet until the end of this row and I'll show you how to finish off this row okay so I finished um, row three with a simple double crochet. Now we are going to be chaining three, one, two, and three. Turn your work, and this counts as your first double crochet. We are going to be placing another double crochet in the first stitch because this creates two double crochets together. In the next um, stitch, place one double crochet. So just place one double crochet in the next stitch and place one double crochet into the next stitch and now into the next stitch place two double crochets one and two and now place one double crochet in the next two stitches and two double crochets together and now one double crochet twice and just carry this pattern on of two double crochets one double crochet, one double crochet until you reach the end of this row Okay, so I finished this row and now what I am going to be doing is the next row and obviously you can follow along the written pattern too. So chain three, one, two and three and once again this counts as your first double crochet. Turn your work and place another double crochet inside that first stitch to create two double crochets together. And now place just one single crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, three. And place two double crochets together in the next stitch. So one and two. And then place one double crochet three times <clears throat> two and three so we've just placed one double crochet 
three times and now we are going to be placing two double crochets together and just carry on with this um, pattern placing two double crochets together and one double crochet on its own for the next three stitches and I'll get back to you. Okay so this is what we have for this row and now for the next row you are going to be chaining three, one, two and three. Turn your work and this counts as your first double crochet and just place another double crochet inside that first stitch and now just place one double crochet so one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch so you have four simple double crochets and now place two double crochets together inside the next stitch and then place one double crochet inside the next stitch four times and just carry on with this pattern of placing two double crochets together and one double crochet four times until the end of this round. Okay, so this is what we have for this round. And now for the next round, we are going to be chaining three, one, two, and three. And this counts as our first double crochet, turn your work and um, place another double crochet inside this stitch. And now you are going to be placing one double crochet on its own five times. So two, three, four, and five. And now place two double crochets together. And now one double crochet on its own five times and just carry this on until you reach the end of this row. So this is what we have. Okay, so you should have seven rows for the flap. I fastened off once again. I've left a long tail for sewing. I will be sewing this in. So pull this gently and sew it in. And now I'm going to show you how to assemble this um, bag. So just fold this first part over and obviously this is the front and back panel. Now take your tapestry needle and pop it, um, pop your yarn through the tapestry needle and you will be sewing this side in. So this is a very um, simple um, stitch that we are going to be using. I am going to be using the mattress stitch. So I'm just gonna zoom in and show you briefly. And so the mattress stitch is st just a stitch that we use, um, which creates a more seamless, um, a seamless seam. So you just go in one side like so and then you go in the other side. Okay, so just go in one side like I said and then directly into the other side until you reach um, the bottom and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so I've gone all the way down as you can see and what I am going to be doing is just um, making a knot. So just go ahead and make a knot gently. You don't want to be pulling on your yarn. And now I'm just going to snip off because this will be the inside of our bag. As later down the line we will be turning this bag inside out so I'm just going to leave this like that and I'm going to leave this one like that too because I usually line my bags I will be linking 
the video on how to line a bag in my description box as always I always line my bags and I line my bags um, with hand sewing I don't use a machine for the time being um, so yeah so watch that video if you are interested and now I'm just going to be doing the other side and so for the other side simply um, attach a piece of yarn like I've just demonstrated and repeat the same process um, that I just showed you and I'll get back to you. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to um, sew on the flap. So I'm just going to zoom in, this is what we have. And so like I said prior, we are going to be turning this project inside out. Uh, later down the line but for now we are going to be aiming to sew the flap onto the back panel so obviously this is the front panel this is the back panel and just for ease I'm just going to switch this round and sew it like um, this I don't use sewing pins um, but you can by all means if that's easier for you it's just I find it easier just to do this but make sure that your um, project is symmetrical so I just placed it symmetrically like this just so that the whole width of the flap um, takes up the whole width of the back panel and now just use um, the mattress stitch once again to sew in this flap and then I'll meet you back after. Okay so I finished sewing this on and I'm simply now going to place my last stitch and um, once again just gently um, fasten a knot, just place a knot or a few knots, whatever you usually do. So I'm just going to place a knot here. Okay, so now that I've sewed um, this last piece in, just turn your project inside out so that the um, right side is facing and this is what we should have so it's so cute it's so pretty I love it and now what I am going to be doing is sewing in this strap so this is a strap I bought online um, I bought this off Amazon I'll be linking everything in the description box and this I've measured from um, the the very um, one edge to the other edge is approximately 47 inches as you can see I've tied a knot on each side just to avoid um, this um, rope from unraveling you can also crochet your own strap I will be in my pattern the free pattern I will be writing down um, a little um, pattern for your own strap if that's what you prefer to do but today I wanted to just use this rope and yes like I said it measures about 47 inches but just bear in mind it will probably lose about two inches at least um, from being sewed into the project because I do like to um, have quite a bit of rope inside if that makes sense um, just for ease of purpose okay so I've placed both sides in and I am now going to be um, sewing the strap in using my um, darning thread and needle so this is very simple like I said I've placed um, this strap in this side and I've placed quite a lot of strap I hope I'm making sense and I am going to start sewing it in making sure um, it is um, nice and um, like a nice and tidy looking um, seam that I'm making and I am going to be doing this um, quite a lot because I believe that because it's a bag it will be carrying at least some type of weight in it so I know I like to sew in my straps 
really really well so I'm just going to go ahead and do this on this side and I'll let you do this on that on this side and then on the other side okay so I finished um, sewing in both the straps like I said um, I'm going to be lining this bag so I'm not too bothered about what the inside looks like although it is quite neat um, so now I'm going to show you the end touches and this is sewing your little um, flower buds onto the bag, the flap. So again I've prepared my darning needle and um, darning thread and I'm just going to sew this um, first flower onto the flap and I'm going to place my three flowers symmetrically and um, just place them like you prefer I'm going to place them probably around um, one and a half to two centimeters from the um, from this the edge and so um, yes, and I'm just going to place the three like so. If you need more details about this, just check my blog. I will be taking a lot of photos and I'm just going to be sewing this gently. Um, so I'm just going to be um, sewing these flowers in gently. I hope you can see properly. Um, there's not a lot to this, just make sure that it's neat, especially on um, on the outside. But again, I'm just going to make sure this is nice and secure. However, um, you don't have to sew these on too much because they're not going to be holding any weight, if that makes sense. So just your main priority should be that this looks neat and nice. Um, from the outside and yeah just repeat this process for the three flowers and then I'll get back to you. Okay so I've sewed these three little flowers in. I love this bag it's so pretty it's so cute it's so um, coquette and so I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video